Hello everyone, this is Filibuster Fox, and I'm taking a look at yet another mod for Mountain Blade Warband, New Elgante. At least I think that's how that should be pronounced. Once again, I'm stuck pronouncing things without a key. But, you know, we'll go ahead and write into this. Now, this mod is set in a fictional uh, colonist versus tribal setting. Uh, somewhat like uh, the, the settlement of the New World in Earth's history. Uh, and, uh, let's see, I'll be an Iron of the Snake Tribe, because that sounds fun. Uh, sure, Labor of the Snake Tribe. Hey, Tribe Hunter. And the Mountain God. Alright, so I'm going to be a tribesman. Uh, let me quit. Do quick do my creation. So this is New World Seven uh, unique factions that are new to the game. Uh, let's see. There's some uh, basic extra features. Uh, more items, obviously. Uh, new scenes. A new quest at the beginning. Yay! Oh wait, no, it's just a reskin for now. Shoot. But it's supposed to lead into a full storyline as the mod develops. Uh, firearms, of course, is, are pretty common in mods these days. Banners, mercenaries, music, sounds, uh, and some more of the more common ones like camp entrenchments are being pretty common. Uh, constructible outposts, that's not something you see a whole lot of, but very cool. Uh, do, do, do Factional merchants, garrisonable villages, uh, a little easier than going around protecting them all the time. A forging skill is added in. We've got new troops and the ability to kill prisoners. Alright, so the Elgante Empire is pretty much the settling empire. Uh, there are rebel forces, different tribes loosely based on American uh, continental tribes, such as the Native American tribes or South American and Central American groups like the Aztecs and such. Uh, let me get back to making my character instead of just talking all the time. Stone skin. Offensive. Barrage. Well, let's get some of this delicious combat stuff. Mm. Get some more throwing so it doesn't suck. There we go. Nice bit. Or if there is hair with a mohawk. Bald will do. Here we go. Travel snakes and neck among the vicious tribes of snake. I like snakes, but I used to have a pet snake, which is why I was drawn to the uh, snake tribe. That's, that's why I picked that. I suppose for the more western feel, you should go for the uh, empire or whatnot. I don't have a funny hat. Excellent. And bang. Lol. Hello, foreign raider. Oh, wait, no. You're you're just the reskin guy. Hey, I don't need to shoot you. Nice house. Oh, let's not kick you. Uh no. No, I'm leaving. Okay. So let's have a look at this world, shall we? Uh, which way is north? That's north. There we go. Now, this is New World. He says he plans to include more islands and such. And assumably there will be naval travel if there is not already. There does seem to be a thing over there. So I assume it is inclusive of naval travel. Let's see. We've got this purple group, which is the Elgante Empire. We've got... The rebels, which are the yellow in the middle here. The dark brown is the Karkin tribe along the mountain top. I guess that would be where the mountain gods are. This appears to be the snake area. Tribe of snakes, snakes point. There we go. Uh, yellow is the tribe of the Lundman, and blue is the Arlen Baronary. Baronary? Baronary. Baronary. Baron, Barony. 
<laughs> that is the term I'm looking for. Where am I? There I am. There. Right at Snake's Nest. Excellent. Let's us not join the tournament that usually goes really badly for... Oh, I can't resist. Fight! I have a sword and shield. Excellent. Um... Okay, I guess the chest paint is the... Ow, he's faster than me. Ha! I beat someone. Yay, I'm awesome. A horse. A kingdom for a horse. Ow, ow, ow. No fair. Stop hitting me when I'm getting on the horse. Alright. Alright, now it's on. Now I have a horse. go. Another one bites the dust. You should probably use a spear on your back, guys. That seems like it'd be a little more effective against a horse. But that's okay. Victory is mine. Alright, and now I start with a horse. Ooh, and... Frame rate lag, but that's okay. Oops. Oh, not good. Not good. Uh, alas, I have fallen. Okay, well, that was the tournament. Let's look at the stores. Buy a ship. Buggy, I don't recommend it. Thank you for putting that in there. Alright, let's see. Pioneer hat, screw that. Furs, don't need. Dried meat, always oh, useful. Tabard. Okay, I got a gun, a hand cannon, and a sword. Heavy vipers. Cries barrage two. Guess that's throwing weapon. Bows. Curved long sh no. So I said shield. What, where did I get? Oh, I was reading the no shield. Man, I am terrible. All right, let's have a look around here. Anything? You know, sacrificial dagger. That is cool, but unnecessary. Armor. Hats. Furs. Boots. All right, enough of that. Let us recruit some troops for the sake of speed. How? Fruit. Fruit. How many people can I have? Forty-four. You go away. All right. Well, here we have a fight. My eight versus their twelve. Stick with me. It's like the top of this hill. Lots of grass. That's usually. Not so much a good thing on battle maps because it uh, tends to lag systems more than most other things. As you'll notice, my frame rate lag is occasionally having some issues here. I wonder if I can turn off foliage and settings. Alright, well, I'm just going to wait for them to get closer and then shoot them in the face with my Archibus. Like the kind of looks like freaking stone balls on the end of all their weapons. Uh, reload faster, reload faster, reload faster. Crap. I'm not charged. On. Ow. Don't throw stuff at me. Jerks. Hey, I can block. Oh, crap. Ha. That's right. Run away. Keep running away. Don't chase me. 
Don't chase me. Don't chase me. That's what happens when you chase me. Ha! Ooh, yeah. I am awesome! No. Here we go. Thrust into the air. My victory thrust. <laughs> you know what I mean. Alright. I will take all of your stuff. Take in your shit so I can sell and give it to me. Shield is mine now. I should maybe get one of their things. 28. Temple Axe. That looks like fun. Let's use that. Alright, excellent. Party Great Snake Soldier. Alright. Can I actually see the tech trees? View tech trees. Nope. Alas. I do not believe this mod includes the freelancer mod, so you cannot go join Lord Armies. Although I will check to make sure, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> you were chasing me just a second ago. Alright. Fine. We'll just charge this time. No need to wait. Look at these guys. They're ready for a fight. You, you're a snake soldier. Look at that. You don't need armor on your chest. You just need some pants. That are exceptionally tight. Show off here to find rear, yes. There they are. Where are you going? No, where are you going? Hold here. You guys suck at going in line. Okay, now charge. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. Charge. Screw you. Coming for you. Oh, you can't hit me. I'm juking. Pow! In the chest. That's right, we won again. Oh, I can't thrust with this. And I still can't capture people. But I can take all of their stuff. Hey, war paint. Now let's have a look. How much armor is it? 5-3. I'm kind of going to keep my tabard. Sorry, guys. No money but, uh, it's just better. Charge the enemy. Ooh, a couple wounded troops. Whatever. Ooh, not kick. Run. Run. Alright, well, so far, combat doesn't seem to have any particular bugs. Uh, like some mods I've looked at that do have a few issues. Okay, you're going to follow me now that you guys can't stay together. New maps are fine. I should take a look at the design of the city maps. Hold here. I missed. Charge. Good job, guys. Victory shot into the air. I lost a guy, though. Full inventory. Alright, party. Braids. Furyman Skirmisher. Okay, Skirmisher is ranged. Furyman is melee, obviously. Well, let's have a look in the lag. The lag. I've always broke on that. <laughs> Rather embarrassing for a 26 year old, but you know. Let's let's have a look at the castle. Okay, well it looks like a castle. 
I don't think they've done this map yet, or if they have, they just want medieval looking castles. Good enough. Let's go back to the town though. Alright, sorry about that, but uh, I accidentally resized the window while playing in windowed mode, thus causing the game to crash. So, uh, I had to start a new one, but we're just going to have a look at the town anyways, and then we'll call it a day. Uh, take a walk around the streets, there we go. I already saw this briefly in the uh, initial quest. Let's have a look. Nice and stylistic. Seems pretty appropriately built. The uh, doors are a little strange, but uh, admittedly I haven't seen doors on the old Aztec and such stone buildings, so that may be entirely what they look like. Hey, this one's open. There's grass in here. must be the, uh, the quote-unquote castle hall or what have you. Very any music. Yeah, there it is. Oops. Can I use any of these doors? Well, uneven there. I got to see through a crack. Ah, here's more city. Oh, no, it's just a tease. It's the end of the map. Assumably one of these will lead to the inn and uh, the arena, although nothing looks like a valid arena here. Maybe you just have to go through the tab menu. That is entirely possible. Temple Scribe. Shop. Scribe. Ah, you are the, uh, the dude face. The, uh, a little bit of an issue here on the map. I mean, it's, well, that, that is kind of a big problem, but nothing easily ignorable. Alright, let's, uh, have a look at some of the other culture cities, shall we? Uh, mountaintop. Let's go up here. That's uh, just a village. Oh no, it's a castle. A lot of them. Things considered, that'd be a really hard castle to attack. Let's have a look at the Karkin architecture. Okay, it's wooden. Looks very similar to uh, some of the Nordic stuff. Assuming this isn't uh, just a placeholder map. Or where the starting place for them is. Let's try Forest Way. Let's see if this is any different. Okay, this is different. It uh, looks much more like a western fort. Some tan furs laying around. We're gonna get a bit of a Native American feel. Also feels a little like something from Robin Hood. <laughs> Just a little paths up there. Okay. It's kind of neat. Much more open. A little cave over there. Let's go check that out. Is that the castle? Or is that just a cave? It's the castle. It's a very natural defense, at least. No, it's just a, just a cave. 
the trapper. Hello, trapper. Okay, you're a guard. Good. No. Alright, well, let's have a look at the Empire's architecture, shall we? Silver Shore, that sounds important. Very castle -y. Okay, this is what happens when medieval Europeans come over and just build castles as a settlement instead of towns. Very large walls. Got handed to there for the defense. Alright, excellent. And... Let's see if the... Oh, let's just teleport. The rebels are anything unique. Now, notably, many of these may not be finished, so... Well, this is... This is unique. Another castle. Very nice castle at that. I like this. These rebels must be quite the force to uh, have a city like this. Very nice. I like this castle. Very well designed, whoever made this map. Alright. And that leaves these guys, right? The tribe of Lumpen. Let's go to Cole. Okay, this is one of the uh, uh, desert cities from Lund. That sounds much more like the capital for the Lundemen. Maybe this will be... Oh, same style. It could be going for kind of a... Uh, Mexican look. It's uh, a little where it reminds me of the Mexican forts. A bit. with guys walking around in turbans. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's a turban. Alright, so... And that leaves the barony of Arlen. Or assumably they sell propane, propane accessories. Sorry, that's, that's all I can think about when I see that. And it's another castle. Good to know. Okay, well, everyone, this has been a quick look at the El Gante uh, mod, the new El Gante, which is, as I said in the beginning, a uh, kind of settlers versus tribes uh, setup. It is a little more medieval looking than your typical New World uh, setup where they would build wooden forts based on necessity, but apparently they have very good quarries here So they can build giant giant castles, which is kind of neat uh, It gives sort of the feel like you know The tribes are attacking Mainland Europe or something who knows, but that's kind of neat uh, It's got firearms. It doesn't seem to have particularly buggy of anything that I've noticed so far, with the exception of the boats, which are pretty often buggy, and uh, the developer even put a say-so that they're buggy. And the only point you need a boat to get to is here. Let's go here. Please wait a moment. Neat. What's all this, then? Regard. I guess this is kind of the uh, maybe a Tortuga of this world, or uh, perhaps one of the incoming points. Stop right there. What? Oh, shut up and go away. You're a weapon merchant. I don't care. Looks like a nice little island to spend a vacation on. If you like sand, 
And water. Italy, sand would be everywhere, so you may as well just wear... Oh no. Shorts. It's gonna get into everything anyways. Well, this is a little less sandy, at least up here. Horse. Of course, of course. Now, there was no uh, town menu for this. It just sent me right in. There's the mayor and the tavern. Hello, mayor. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, isn't this kind of homey? Bugs would be a problem here, I'm sure. They always are. I hope so. Smoothly the tavern keeper, William. Well, you're new. Okay. So it looks like this place hasn't really finished up, but could be part of like a main storyline or something like that. It gives it kind of a nice feel to have this here. I, I kind of like it. Let's, let's have a look inside the tavern. Hey, I know you, you are followers. I don't care though, chest, it's my chest. Okay, well this once again has been Phil Buster Fox taking a look at the new El Gante mod, just uh, having a quick final look at uh, the little island here. Uh, this is available on the Mountain Blade forums, the link is below. It is compatible with 1.143, so you have no worries there. There's a training field in the water. All right then. What's this? Okay, this is something, I guess. Nothing else unusual out there. Okay. Anyways, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at this and uh, maybe interested to try it as a result. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.